All right. We're hanging out. We're live on the Bass and Beer Radio. Hang, hanging out with Riverboat Rob and Sea Bass. It's, it's Bass and Beer Radio featuring Riverboat Rob and Sea Bass on another episode of the Tackle Talk Tuesday. What yeah, a, I've been so. What to do, uh, Riverboat Rob? Hey, every day I'm hustling. I didn't, uh, I've been working so hard on the boat, I didn't have time to hit, see if we can get any kind of guest on for tonight. So it's just me and you, but we got a, a very big guest coming on. In my world, he's huge because he fishes old school, um, the kind of fishing that we like. Uh, the, uh, Keith Carson coming on Friday, so that's going, to, dude. I'm I'm so looking forward to that, dude. Yeah, so looking forward Keith to that. Keith Carson hey, is going to be great, dude. There's like some of the stories are so crazy. Like him and John Cox didn't have any money, borrowed Keith's dad's credit card made it to the tournament on the Red River, and John wins it, and Keith wins his co-angler, and that's how they made it, or they were done. It was like we, it was like we had to borrow Dad's credit card <laughs> like, to make like, it, and they and and it and they both won, like that's insane. On an aluminum boat, like they was like man, like we, like the boat couldn't even compete at all with you know. What, what they were competing in, but they did it, and somehow they weren't fishing together. John was a boater. Keith was a co-angler on someone else's boat, and they both won. How crazy is that, dude? I mean, can uh, you imagine the stories he insane. has to tell? Insane. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty insane, dude. Uh, and, dude, Keith Carson... Doing his thing, man. So he, we're going to hear some good stories because he's a hardworking man, painter, drywaller, and all that. Before uh, I think they, I think he worked for his dad, which is what I did uh, personally myself. Uh, and dude, he was like always, always calling out to go fishing. Dad be mad, and like all oh, you guys can't have all Friday because they got a tournament. They want to go pre-fish. Like the stories are going to be good, dude. That's going to be a good episode, man. It's going to be a good episode. He's in a uh, he's in a Vexus boat too. Uh no, I think uh, um a um uh, what's the the express boat? I think. Is he in I an could express? Could be wrong about that. Yeah, I think it's express boat. MLF like, says his uh, sponsors. No, oh, cross cross liner. He might have a Vexus. It says his, his sponsors it. are Fenwick, Vexus Boats, Berkeley, Mercury, Lowrance, Abu, Battleborn, Plano, Freebill, and KCC Painting. So, yeah, probably in a Vexus thing. I don't know if this is up to date, though. I don't know either. I know John Cox is in a, a crest liner, and that's what they won. When they, they were coming up, that's what they were fishing in the Crestliner, dude. Mm-hmm. Dude, they told a story one time where they had a boat that they had to, uh, it leaked so bad that they would have to, like, pull it out, let all the water drain out, and then put it back in. <laughs> like, how great is that, dude? That's, that's pretty awesome. wild. Pretty awesome. Did you, did you see that Boy Duckett has a podcast now? I did not. Yeah, it's like two episodes. You don't want to watch it, dude. I don't want to watch it. Well, I mean, you can if you want, but it's Boy Duckett, dude. Dude, somebody actually asked on the podcast, because we can say whatever we want, because we ain't got no sponsors. Well, we have sponsors, but we don't have sponsors that care about Not like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got sponsors that care about y'all, but not the the, the stuck-up pros. But uh, someone actually asked Boy Duckett, like, how come the guys... In, uh, in your top, they win everything, and you know who we're talking about. Uh, they win everything over on Major League Fishing side. It's like, how come they've been accused of cheating like all the time and failed polygraphs and stuff? Like that question was asked on there. Uh, he, he he answered in a roundabout way that so his answer basically was like social media gets things twisted, which may be true too. To be fair. But the question, the same guys keep winning. Like, Dustin Cornell just won the uh, Red Crest. Mm-hmm. 
well, he, what's that, his second win this year? And Jacob win. I think there are only two people that won anything this year, I believe. Hey, I've seen that um, Keith Carson almost had a top 50 in the uh, Red Crest. I think he was like 68 or so. James Watson was up there, and it, which is really good to see. Uh, James Watson was like, I don't know if he was the top 20, but he was close, if not. And then, of course, you got the uh, everything's one on a little minnow nowadays, dude. Those big swim baits ain't getting it, Chad. You gotta, you gotta throw a little. You gotta. This is too big. You gotta. It's gotta be like. Hold on. See this? Hold on. Let me show that you. A little tiny thing. <laughs> oh, we got mad. We got mad comments. What's up, Adam? Thanks for joining. What's up, little John? We got Headwaters Jim Fallon up in here. What's up, man? And Russell Blank. Why is there no beer on the desk? Hold up one second, my I, brother. I'm, I'm, Hang I'm on one coffee. second. River, Riverboat Rob is toning his act down. Hey, I'm going to tell you a story, dude. And it's a very true story. Let me drink my coffee, but I did not realize. There it is. That I did not realize, Chad. I, I'll, I'll drink a beer with you, but I did you not realize. You don't have to, all good. Nah, it's, we're good. Yeah, um. Not Cheers, realize, brother. So I want you to flea market that I have a lot of very young fans. Like, I got a bunch of it on video. But a lot of young kids, like, really was like, oh, you Riverboat Rob, and I watch your videos and all, and that made me think, like, I didn't, I didn't realize it. I thought it was just, like, misfits like me. You know, I didn't know little kids was, like, watching me like that. So I tried to tone my act down and be respectful because I like that, you know, like the Cub Scouts and all was coming up to me and like recognizing me, which I like because I was a Cub Scout. So, so I try to like tone cause I can be a little bit, you know, unfiltered sometimes. So every once to, in a while. Yeah. So I try to, like, I think we I all never, can I know. actually realize that I didn't realize that, you know, like Brian Dyson came up to me and he was like, he had his son with him and he was like, my son's like your biggest fan, Rob like Brian Dyson's son. And he was like, I think he was like 12 years old or something like that. And, uh, and it made me think like, Oh, maybe I should tone, you know, I won't be, I'm not Howard Stern. You know, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I should tone. Hey, thanks accent. Adam. We might have one of these for you when we come up North brother. <laughs> You're going to make me get a beer, dude. I'm look, got the, uh, the, the bass fishing coffee cup. Oh, I thought that was a Bass Labs coffee cup for a second. I was like, okay, Epic Eric's got coffee cups too. Oh, no, I think it just says Big Mouth Bass. I think I got it on like SD or something like that. Yeah. Oh, my wife got it for me. It's just, uh, so, you know. Do me a favor, everybody. <laughs> hit the like button and hit the share button. Share the content. Let's see if we can get some more people up in here. I appreciate all your help. It only takes about half a second. We but, need uh, everybody. Dude, well, Riverboat Rob, Rob, you've got some freaking shit to talk about because <laughs> all kind of dumb. Stuff my gosh, on. man! So the boat, boat on fire. yeah, dude, the boat build has just been a miraculous. So first off, it's looking real good, Thank but you. it's been like so. Hold up, first off, before Rob goes off on his tantrum, because I know he's gonna go off on it. He has every right to. I just want to say, bro, Rob hit us up in the comments first. Or uh, in our text feed and was like, yeah, I'm just going to do this, this, and this real quick. And then I'm going to just be done with it. And I was like, bro, I was like, you're not doing anything to your boat where you're just going to be done with it in a couple days. Yeah, a week, dude. I was going to be done in a week. You was going to be done in a, a week. Month later. It's been It's been a month now. And uh, we're, he's getting to the finals. He's getting to the completion of it now. But uh, let's hear about the trials and... What you've gone through with this boat so far, man, it's been interesting. All his videos for this boat build are up on YouTube, by the way, underneath Riverboat Rob's uh, YouTube page. You should definitely go look at those, like, and subscribe if you have not. When you start um, when you start ripping things apart, you start discovering more problems, if that makes sense. You know, the, 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 digger, uh, the deeper yeah. you dig, yeah, so it was like, it was just starting out a simple, I'm going to go ahead and change the deck out, right? Because the carpet was all messed up, and it was like, I, and I need, the, it actually really started because the hatch that I keep my tackle in always leak water. So, like, if I left my tackle on a boat, 
or if I was out fishing in the rain, all my tackle would get wet. So it started out with a hatch. But then it was like, well, I got to remodel the deck and configure a new hatch in there. That's how I started. But once all that got ripped out, then I noticed the uh, wood for the floor was all rotten. So then once I pulled the floor out, I've seen that tracker like puts in, if you have an older tracker, like you should really look into this because tracker spray, put spray foam in there. And what it does is it, it, it goes over and it blocks the drainage. So my boat was not draining. I did not know this. <laughs> Adam from JCS Marine says he knows all about opening a can of worms on a boat. There he goes. <laughs> right. So, so like water was not draining out. So I had to fix that problem. Then I had to put the new floor in. Then I hydro turfed the new floor in. Then we got into the wiring. And I'm out there the other day. And I have a winch on my boat because I'll just shallow water, do crazy stuff. And the winch would, like, go um, in but not out. So I'm like, why is it not going out? So I'm, like, under the console. And I'm, like, holding the button and looking around, like, messing with wires. Trying to see if you wife, can hear that relay click or whatever right, in there. Yeah, you know, like, yeah, I feel wife, you, dog. My wife comes out and she goes, you know the boat's on fire. She said it, like, so calmly, too. It was like, you know the boat's on fire? I was like, what? Like, I just got to say, dude, like, because I know what's going on. Like, I still can't believe you didn't smell plastic burning before I, I this. Felt, I did, though. I was like, it's something burning, but I you was just ignored under- it. No, I was thinking it was like under the console because I was looking around because I was like, it smells like something's burning. You know, it happens very quickly. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So I'm like, it smells like something's burning or something. Like I'm looking for smoke and stuff. She opened up the back hatch, dude. Smoke just came all out. She poured <laughs> coffee on the fire. She, <laughs> she just dumped the coffee on the electric fire, bro. <laughs> yeah. She was like, well, you caught the boat on fire. I got the fire. So I got very lucky because it didn't cause like a whole lot of damage. It melted the wires, right? So what happened was there was a, so the boat's tin boat and the wires are fished through, but I didn't put like a grommet or like a rubber, um, you know, yeah, grommet on the hole. And I guess it cut into the positive and negative and they hit together. So like the whole time I'm hitting the switch, they're like melting together. And I'm not realizing it. You see what I'm saying? So it melted the wire all the way back to the battery. That was the only damage it did until all that melted plastic fell onto the battery tray and caught the battery tray on fire. It actually burnt a hole in the bat. I had to go get a new battery, dude. I got pictures. It melted like a... You could see like where the wire... That's like, insane, was, dude. Oh, dude, I could pour the battery and just like acid would like come out the battery. Like It melted a hole in the battery, dude. And I got very lucky because in the trackers, the gas tank's like here, and then I have a 24-volt trolling motor and two deep cycle batteries, so it's like the gas tank, then a battery, then a battery. It was this battery, not the one next to the gas tank. Thank goodness, because it would have been, I think it would have been lights out, dude. It would have been lights out. Because that, if that battery tray on this side caught on fire, the gas tank was catching on fire, and once that caught on fire, lights out, dude. So I, got, I got extremely lucky. It's Rob would have just been now. laying in his boat getting cooked, bro. I probably would just been like, just you know, <laughs> like I'm done, dude. Like I'm just, <laughs> inhale, <laughs> just, just inhaling the fumes. I can't take this anymore. Yeah, I would just watch my like the, this boat go up in flames at that point. But luckily, my wife somehow I don't know how the hell she called it. She was painting the deck out. Back. Hey, what's up, Dan? Maybe she smelled it or something. I don't know. She just, dude, it was, she was so calm. I couldn't believe it. Cause you know, I would be like, oh shit, the boat's on fire. Blah, blah. She was like, you know, the boat's on fire. <laughs> it's like all the smoke coming out the back. <laughs> With the calm, it's like, just calm about it. Just like, wondering if you're even going to freak out about yeah, it or yeah. not. Like, do you have any idea that your boat's on fire? Like, I'm just some kind of retard. Right yeah, kind of like, yeah. <laughs> so, but uh, now nah, it worked out. All that's fixed now. Now I got uh, all the wiring's done and stuff for it. For some reason, I can't get the horn working still. I, I got to trace the wire into the horn. But uh, all the, all the rustler wiring's all traced. Even the winch is Just bring an still. air horn with you. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I don't really need to get the horn working, but that that would be the last of the wire and then into the decking. Actually, I need... Uh, dude, I'm, dude, still... I'm just saying, if you nail somebody with an air horn while you're out fishing, that's pretty hilarious. Yeah, yeah. Dude, I said it during the Matt Heron show, but the best thing I ever saw was Chris Zaldane went to... Uh, he stayed with, like, Scott Martin and Matt Airy and them. And then he was like, oh, these guys are spent, uh, you know, sponsored by, like, whatever, uh, Smelly Jelly and Bait Fuel or whatever. So he was like, I'm going to put soft plastics in different baggies and blindfolds. Hey, and what's up, Charles? Thanks for joining, brother. And, and you guys take a whiff and you and let me see. Let me see if you can smell. How well do you know the uh, scent that you're sponsored by? Right. You know? OK. Yeah. Right. So like he blindfolds them one at a time on the side there and then he has like four bags but are you supposed to really smell the shit like dude uh, he sprayed fart that fart spray that stinks oh. <laughs> and one of them and like sealed it up so it's like smell number one right and they're like oh that might be like uh max scent or whatever you know well that smells like shit. and they're like whoa what the hell that was <laughs> yeah he makes that bait right there it's like the fart spray dude it was so good dude he got him good russell says it's the uh, worst when you're in the tightest spot in a boat working and someone hits the air horn oh yeah 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 hey look my wife actually uh if, if her uh, level of Adam panic, says or in the bathroom If her level of panic where it should have been She should have hit the horn Instead she's like boat's on fire Yeah Hey what's, what's up Dale we got, we, got, we got Dale Lawrence in the house Dale I'm oh, ready for Dale. round 6 whenever you are baby You just hit Dale, me up Dale will hit the air horn on you While you're under there working on I the know that too. Dale will Dale will do a lot of yeah. things Yeah yeah who, who else we got on chat? I can't see. No, no comments. We got no. Dale. We got Adam from JCS. What's Charles up, Jones. What's up, Charles? Charles, what's up, man? I said, what's up already, Charles? And uh, Little John's on here. Little John was on the show last week. Russell Blank's on here. We got oh, Headwaters bro. Jim Fallon oh, chilling, hanging cool. out. The Headwaters, dude. I say Headwaters, but he's from Headwaters. His name is Jim. Excuse me, sir. Hey, we got Nick Holton up in the house. Phil What's Givens up, chilling up in here. What's up, boys? We got Phil up in here? Phil's up in here, brother. Have people been watching that? Uh, what's it called? Phil? Uh, I watch it every time I can, dude. It's called, Phil, uh, Phil's Live? Phil's Podcast? I don't... I, Givens... Dude, Phil, it's called Talking with Phil or... Phil. What the hell is your podcast called, Phil? Talking with Phil. <laughs> Something like that. Hold up. <laughs> I can't remember what it is, dude. Dude, Phil, actually, uh, in my next video that I'm putting out on the boat bill, dude, I uh, I mention you a lot in it. You'll see why. It's live with Phil. Live with Phil. I was close. I said talking with Phil. <laughs> live with Phil. I'm sorry, Phil. <laughs> he has a lot of, like, hunting stuff going on on there, dude. And if you guys don't know who Phil is, he's uh, Gibbons Media, uh, doing big things. Dude, was j literally just with Ryan Salzman on the MLF. So, uh, shout yeah. out to Ryan Salzman. I know it didn't go exactly the way he wanted in the long run, but dude, big PB catch, big five point something pound uh, spotty. That was his PB spotty. Hey, we got Lou up in the house. What's up, Lou? Lou, Lou dog. Lou dog. Lou dog fishing. Oh, what up, Lou? And then, um, yeah, man. He so he was so he was filming with Ryan Salzman, which is you know pretty cool and. Uh, He's done a lot of those uh, big game hunt, filming big game hunts. Um, a lot of his stuff was salsy. Man, I'm going to just say it out loud. He sent me a Snapchat with, like, Kevin Van Dam over his shoulder. Yeah, like, the yeah, other weekend. Yeah, Phil, you know what I mean? Phil probably don't even know who he is. He's like, who's this guy? Well, he knows like, Kevin Van Dam now after the whole story. <laughs> yeah, everybody knows that story. Everyone knows that one. That's a good one. Phil's bigger. Like, Kevin Van Dam ain't nothing to him. He's like, I don't even know who this guy is. He want to come take pictures with me. I wish. Phil says he's trying to comment pictures, but it's not working. I totally wish he could. Uh, if there is a setting, I wish I could change it. Dude, just post them up on the uh, on the Facebook page, dude. We know that you hang out with... Look, we know you be hanging out with KVD and Ike and Ellie and them, man. Mr. Phil Phil Givens. Freaking... Uh, he ain't, he ain't no he's a freaking man. big swinging, you know? Hey, if you know the, the Givens family, dude, I'm telling you, Pops is, Pops is the best, dude. What's up, Hippie Gives? 
Yeah. Oh, oh is, is Evan on too? Evan's not on, but just Hippie Gibbs is just legendary. Did you, Evan posted, my, it's my son's birthday, and he turned 22 today, and Evan replied. Yeah, happy birthday, post- sir. Happy birthday to him. So Evan replied, my wife posted it up on Facebook. Evan replied like, yeah, you're old enough to whoop your dad's ass now. <laughs> Typical Evan Gibbons reply. If you have not met their dad, dude. I haven't. Oh, Pops is the Pops is the best, dude. We gotta get Pop. We gotta get Pops on the show, dude. He be uh, um, fishing for peacock bass in Florida all the time, dude. But uh, yeah, Pops is uh, he's a fun dude to talk to, man. Nick Holton says he's looking to get into a little John boat here soon, so he can get out there with us. I yeah. uh, got any recommendations for anything to look for? In a John boat fishing the area that we're fishing in. We're both yeah, John boat guys. So don't buy from what we have learned, Chad, and I have a riveted boat. But What's up, Frank? Thanks learned, for joining, brother. What we have learned through Trick Tins and uh, Reservoir Boat Works and all is if you can go welded, Damn, get a yeah. welded boat, yeah. stay away from a riveted boat. If um, possible, for sure. It, it, they do have some older welded boats. Mm-hmm. Yeah, try to try to go weld it if you can. Oh, I mean, he says he's friend, going all weld. Yeah, that's you know you from the interviews that we done the people that we talked to, and my mine's riveted. So I mean, like it's mine's riveted, riveted too, yeah. and I love it. I haven't had many issues with it. I've had to rebuck a couple. Yeah, the sixteen forty eight Nick is honestly that's kind of the magic number in my opinion. I got I got a, like uh, any smaller I wouldn't do it. Any bigger like. I wouldn't say bigger is worse, but you don't want to go too big because then maneuvering it becomes kind of difficult. I I think that's 16, 16. Okay. Yeah. So like mine's 1648 yours is 1650, but like, Mm -hmm. that's like perfect. It's very stable when you're standing up on the platforms and they're both 16 and a half foot. They're riveted, but as long as you're not smashing shit all day long, like you're, you're kind of okay. I haven't had a problem with the with with the boat being. Hi, Miss Maria. Pink shirt's coming oh, up. Oh, oh, she 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 out there somewhere. Um, I haven't never had a problem with the rivets actually. But what why I say that is um from what we have learned from talking to some of the boat builders, they rather if you want to get any kind of custom work done on it, they don't want to work on a riveted boat. Uh, they, that's, they what that's what I've that's what I've definitely gathered for sure. Yeah. Talking to Matt, talking to some other guys. Yeah, they, um, they prefer a welded boat, but for sure. Well, I mean, if a, if the rivets and the structure of the boat integrity itself start to fall apart, then the structure of their build is compromised at the same exact time. So, uh, I can I might, fully understand that. I might be able to get Matt on. Give him a shout. Uh, we'll, if you haven't we'll already, guys, hit that like button. Hit that share button for us. I would really, really appreciate it. Hey, We're I always having say, a good time up in here. Riverboat Rob in the house. I got to say, Matthew Downs from Trick Tins, one of the best people. I, I, oh, yeah. For some reason, anybody named Matt, because Matt Heron is like our boy. Like, love Matt Heron. And Matthew Downs from Trick Tins, I mean, dude, he shared my video on his page. Yeah. Yeah, oh, dude, and Matt Downs and Matt Heron have been sensational. They've been phenomenal, really good, great people to have on. Uh, Matt's always checking in. Matt Downs is checking in every Friday, hanging out. Definitely like talking to him. He's come on multiple times. A guy that has a world of knowledge, and we really haven't even tapped into a quarter of it yet. Honest with you. Yeah, if you're really getting into Tim Boats, too, like I recommend hitting him up because he has certain I definitely would. that – He'll work. He'll work with you. Let's put it that way. It's best I can put it. Like he'll work with you. You know what I mean? You tell him what you're looking for, and you tell him what you're trying to spend. He's got. You know, he can work. Like he'll work with you. He'll work it out with you. He's got boats. He's got ten boats for sale and, and motors and stuff for sale too. I mean, he's got like a wholly, fully remodeled. Like what is it? Forty thousand dollar boat or something like that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Even Adam from JCS says do the 1648 and convert it to a jet boat. Oh, there you go. What, like a uh, a jet ski boat? Because have you seen is that? Who well, I mean, that? just probably just a jet motor on the back. Who did that? Uh, didn't one of our uh, followers take like the jet ski 
in the John Boat, a Jet John, I think they call it. Like, cut the John Boat out and put, like, a jet ski in it. Well, like Adam, like Adam's got that, just like a riverboat, just is, a. Is that who did it? Yeah, yeah. Adam. Adam put a twelve hundred yeah. cc jet ski motor in the back of a sixteen foot John boat. <laughs> I love it, dude. I love it. That's awesome. I, I think I ran into him. I think I heard him coming. I was in the pond. Oh, you'll hear him coming. Believe me. <laughs> he was like at Mariner Point. <laughs> that thing is just screaming, dude. dude it's fast GPS. though, dude. It's JPS. fast. I got a uh, JCS, man. I got to hit you guys up. Uh, I'm sure Tony already told you guys. Like, I got to get the work I'm doing now. When's Tony taking his boat out there? I don't know. I thought it was like next month or something like that. I got to talk to him about that. We should probably hit up JCS and talk to those guys about it too. Yeah. Uh, next month would work for me. Of course, right now when it worked for me. But I'm not even – the condition of my trailer – and uh, uh, most of our viewers may know the trailer story. If not, like uh, Adam says, end of the month. Um, end of the month is in like uh, two weeks, ten days. Yeah, about two weeks. Oh, Dang, shit. dude, I don't know if I'll be able to get All mine right. out. Well, there I gotta right text now. Tony about that right now so I can schedule this shit. I'm literally gonna text him right now. Are you doing yours? Are no, you getting yours wrapped, Chad. I'm not getting mine wrapped right now. Not right now. First off, I don't know if I'm going to sell it after this season, so I'm not going to spend three grand plus on a wrap right now. And uh, I just oh, decided to go. Much. I just decided to go other routes with things. Oh, you're you're talking about your Ranger. I was going to wrap the Ranger. I was talking about the John boat. Well, I haven't been fishing the John boat. It's like I would have like a bass and beer wrap, and it would just sit in the carport. I see what you're saying. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. However, I'm just saying if I do end up selling. The Ranger, I will definitely wrap the John boat. Yeah, I'll never get John rid of the John boat. Is. You don't ever get rid of the John boat. Why would you get rid of your John boat? Your John boat is your end all be all. It's all I need, dude. It's all oh, you need. Man. I don't even know why I have this this payment for this stupid ass boat. This boat sucks dick. It depends because of what we fish. Now, if you're fishing like like if you're Paul, where's Paul going? Toledo Bend or something or Rayburn? You, yeah, you know, like yeah, if you're doing stuff like that, or you're doing like Brian Dyson, and you're fishing like bigger tournaments like that, then yeah, but not. <laughs> What's up, Connor? Lou says correct. Lou's dealing with some problems with his eighteen eight right now. Like, bro, he's got the same we, boat as you, right? It's the same boat. It's a little bit smaller than mine, but we're not getting the performance out of these boats that we should. It's these aluminum hauls. All right, bye, Rob. Rob? 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 Okay, Rob. Rob, yeah, Rob went fishing. Oh, oh, Rob's back. Hello, Rob. Rob? I, I cannot hear you, Rob. I have no idea what just happened. Can you hear me now? No. Yeah, there you go. There you go. There we go. I don't know. I think when I got up. <laughs> Phil drink, said you got swatted. <laughs> I think when I got up to grab a drink, it pulled the USB out or something. So oh, okay. yeah, that might have plugged it back in. Yeah. yeah, so that's all. You got up and disappeared. People were geeking out right now. That shit was funny. <laughs> was it? <laughs> you were talking. I was, like, <laughs> I, was looking, I was like, I was like, Rob? <laughs> Rob? <laughs> Dude, we did a show one time that was just me and you, and you left, and I was like sitting there. And I think Martin Payne, I think it was, was like, remember when uh, Wayne left Garf alone? Like, <laughs> 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 uh, where's Martin at? He ain't on tonight. I have not seen Martin chime in yet tonight. I have dude, not. Ain't, ain't this sexy, dude? Look at this here. Hold on. <laughs> Char Charles says this the FBI. Open up. <laughs> <laughs> Stay at my door, dude. Rob, I don't know what you're holding that in, but it's not even close to the camera screen. Oh, oh there we go. There we go. <laughs> Come on, 
Because because I'm up in the corner of the screen, so I'm like instead of looking at the camera, I'm looking at myself over there like a dumb dummy. You know what that is, right? Is that a jackhammer? It's a jackhammer. The evergreen. What you a, got a rage crawl? There you go. Chad nailed it. Boom. <laughs> You the you're the big winner, dude. You, you win. Am uh, I gonna get a glass boat? Uh, maybe one day if I end up getting me. rid of the Ranger, I'm probably just gonna freaking run. I'm probably just run the John boat, dude. I'll probably send that thing down to Matt Downs. I'll probably get the whole transom reworked, and I'll probably stick a. I'll probably get pods on the back of it and stick a sixty on it, and I'll make that the fastest John boat in fucking Maryland. Dude, if I was gonna spend whatever it takes. If I was going to spend glass boat money, I get a Gator Tracks. I get a Gator Tracks. But that's not boat. even glass boat money, dude. That's like seventy grand for an aluminum like, that's what boat. I mean. I'd rather get. I would. I would spend it on that before I spent it on a glass boat, just because of how I fish. I'm not. I'm fifty years old. I'm not going to go fish the Bass Pro Tour. You know what I mean? I'm going back in in where you, the forbidden areas and. And fishing how I fish, you know what I mean? I'm not, I'm not spending that. I'm not spending seventy thousand dollars on a glass boat, dude. But I will spend it on a badass uh, off the road. Let's call it a four by four. I was on a four by four boat uh, off the road. Go back. The old, the old Keith Poche. Uh, yeah. Ramp destroyer. Right. Yeah, dude. Like I'd rather spend the money on that. Now, if I was trying to fish like professionally or bigger tournaments, then I. I, I would go glass boat, but I'm not doing that, so it doesn't, you know. Chad's the only dude I know that still wears pajamas. What? <laughs> got pajama pants on, dude. What is? What's the problem with that? It's comfortable. <laughs> I'm free balling it right now, and I am comfortable. <laughs> I free balled it all day at work today. I like it. <laughs> We can look. I'm trying to calm my act down, Chad. You're a bad influence. <laughs> <laughs> talking about free balls. Look, as long as we're not cussing, you know. <laughs> okay. All righty. Oh, oh shit. Here. What else we got laying on the desk? Got this. Yo, what is that? Ah, put that away. Uh, got that. Those are boring to throw. Now that's this that's kind of like wait what was that one though that's kind of that's good for you the springtime. You? you know what that is? Yeah, put oh, that down. Put that down. Oh, is that the SV3? Yeah. Oi. Yeah, there it is. I'm telling you right now like so if for for everybody that's watching right now we have 19 people checking in right now. We we told you guys we're going to do a 1000 follower giveaway and we 110% are <coughs> are carrying through with the one with the 1000 follower giveaway. Uh we've got busy with some guests, we've got busy with some things going on in life. Uh but we are we are going through with that. I have to go up to the Susquehanna Fishing Tackle. That's a hint for me right now. We will be getting baits from the Susquehanna Fishing Tackle to put in there for you. You might find a Mega Bass SV3 in there. You might find an SV9 in there. You could find some jack all baits in there. Believe me, in no way, shape, or form are we cheaping out on this giveaway box. Every single giveaway box will come with premium baits that you all want to a, throw. We have a thousand followers, right? Oh, we have twelve hundred followers. So we, so is it two thousand? Oh, I tell you what, when we get to two thousand, I will give this away along with whatever you will give away. Hold on, I gotta untangle it. Oh, that's a reaction innovations. That's a vixen. I That's give, a vixen. I actually, here's our OG vixen. I'll give uh, no. This is a kick knocker. I will give them both away. You can have them both. Back, well, and a spook. I got baits laying everywhere, dude. Well, I will throw those into the mix if we can get to two thousand, dude. We uh, right one of our followers. Actually, don't let me forget because I may forget, but I'm gonna set them to the side right now. But we get to two thousand, I will throw these in. Ooh, Tyler Hawthorne says he's got some UMA baits to throw in there. There we go. Like I didn't in. already have some UMA baits that I wasn't going to throw in there. I'll throw in a spook, a vixen, and a kick knocker, too. I'm going to put them over here, Chad. Don't let me forget, dude. We get the 2,000. Uh, 
Oh, What's I'm, up, not, I'm not letting you forget, but I'm talking about the 1,000 follower giveaway that's coming up. We got to go to SFT. We got to pick up some, we're picking up some premium baits. Mega Bass, Jackaw, we're picking up some JDM stuff. We're picking up only the plastics and hooks that I like to throw, you want that Paul, that Rob, and Tony like to throw. Nothing that will be in our giveaway box will be... I'm going to just say it out loud. I'm I'm straight up saying it. Nothing in our giveaway boxes will be mystery tackle box quality. It will only be <laughs> premium quality tackle. So you definitely want to look out for this. Give me a few weeks to put everything together. I promise it is coming to you. And don't, little John, don't you even worry about it. If you don't think that a seven inch glide bait won't show up in one of these tackle boxes, you are absolutely wrong. I give away Tony Schultz's, uh, um, <laughs> Tony Schultz's uh, bait that he left on on my boat. That told he told me like, make sure you don't get hold on to that. His jackhammer, dude. So I have <laughs> we have I have done my math and I have about a hundred dollars in baits to give away per month, plus whatever else we can manage to put together. So if I can, if we decide we want to do a swim bait giveaway one day, you best believe that I will give you guys the best premium swim bait that i can for the cost and it'll be coming your way and uh make sure you have the rod and the gear to throw it because that's one thing i can't supply to you guys uh i gave tony all my rods so i was i would give a rod away but i gave tony all the rods that i was not i already know what that is connor for 2k i can guarantee you guys connor will offer up a free uh, handgun permit class, a uh, Maryland concealed carry oh, class nice. I'm trying with, to uh, that. with Fisher firearm services. Nice. So he's local to us. Uh, he does a lot of good classes and, uh, we were actually just hanging out at one of his, his shop the other day doing a little, uh, cornhole. We had a lot of fun over there and, uh, yeah, man, Connor's very instructive and does a good job with what he does. He, uh, is passionate about what he does. Why was I not invited to that? When was that? I don't remember that. Cornhole was on Saturday at 12 p at 12 p.m., yes. I don't remember being invited, dude. You weren't. Yeah. Thanks a lot, man. I'm sorry. What kind of friend you are, dude. I'm sorry. You look like a motorcycle cop, dude. <laughs> <laughs> what does that even mean? <laughs> Uh, What's that even mean? Like, what does a motorcycle cop have to do with it? It's the mustache, I think. I don't even know, dude. Like, I don't Look even like know. Paul Blart, bro. <laughs> 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 dude, you know what's great? Nah, let me not get into some nerdy skateboarding and stuff. Dude. Connor it's says you are welcome anytime. Oh, thank you, man. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. I, uh... Man, if I don't get this boat done, I'm going to die early. Like, I got to get it done. I got to get on the water, dude. I'm die sure. early, my dude. Like, seriously, the fishing is going to pick up here in the next few weeks. Like, the water has been if I warm, ain't but. Next few weeks, the, just shoot me. The water has been warm, but I'm just saying, overall, let's think about it. And, like, Paul, we talked to Paul in the group chat a good. He makes a good point. Like, dude, I've been looking at the water temperatures freaking out, like, spawn, 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 spawn. But, like, they work a lot off of. Um, Time of day. The time of day, the light, uh, light patterns. So, yeah. really, sure. right now, these water temperatures, in my opinion, could have the fish a little bit shocked, maybe even confused, like what the f is going on. Um, and that could explain, like, there it's hit and miss, dude. There's some people catching right now, and some people aren't. Like, you know, uh, I think, I think the uh, upper bay, I think the flats might be fishing a little bit better right now. Obviously, the flats always has a little bit higher quality fish in it. Uh, but I haven't seen the GP specifically turn on yet. Hmm. There's a bite there, but it's not It's not that bite. I haven't been out, so I can't tell you. Hey, there he is. Hippie Gibbs is in the house now. Oh, Evan's in the house. We're in trouble now. We got we got trouble now. Hey, dude, Evan, are we fishing the uh, Ike Derby? Man, I meant to call you earlier today. I didn't get time. I was running around and trying to work on the boat and stuff. But uh, hit me up, dude. Hit me up. Why does it look like a pitch? Is that a picture of Paul Batters on the wall behind you, Chad? Uh, that is a picture of Paul Batters on the wall behind me. 
from on my computer screen, it looks like he has a snake coming out of his well, mouth. Well, there's too. a little there's a little thing right here if you can see that, and that is me, and that is an octopus oh, in our octopus. mouths connecting us together. And Megan made that for us. Thank you very much, Megan. Oh, you love Paul. Chad loves Paul. I I have no idea what is happening in this photo to this day, but it was it was <laughs> picture mount worthy. I never, I haven't seen it. I haven't been over in a while, but I was looking like. Oh, you have definitely a, seen it. Have I? Yes. You know, I, I things like my world is oh, oh, always. It's oh gosh. I got ADHD <coughs> and Evan. Just, Evan was wrenching on the truck today. Yeah, yeah. Evan's been busy. <laughs> Little today. John says it creeped me out when he saw it, but no disrespect. It's, it's, <laughs> It's creepy looking at it on my computer screen, dude. I'm like, why does Paul look like he's got a snake coming dude, out of his mouth? it's a good photo. Uh, I just recognized, I knew it was Paul because I seen that photo. Oh, what, is that a picture of you behind you catching a big fish? <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, I don't know, man. Hey, I don't know. What, what can you do? Bro, why uh, does your cat look like it's about to attack your fishing rods? Hey, you see, look. Yeah, because he's a pain in my ass. And Bro, that cat is definitely about to jump up on your shelf in the fishing rods. I don't know if you can see, but the other day I was cutting my hair, shaved my hair off, and he kept getting in the way, so I just, like, swiped his back, dude. Let me see if I can show you. Yes. <laughs> Hold up, everybody. Rob is about to get attacked by his cat. No, no, seriously, dude. Like, that's what he get for getting in the way while I was trying to cut my hair. And I love my cat. Don't get me wrong. What is he cat. doing, though? Like, he's, like, chill, dude. Robin he is dead literally, dead. bro, he is looking at that lose combo <laughs> back there like it is gold. What is happening? <laughs> no way, dude. You shave the cat? Yeah, dude, he kept like rubbing up against me, and, like while I was trying to like cut my hair. You shaved the cat. It was a little. Gave him a little. I call it a soul patch. He's got a soul patch, dude. Cat, <laughs> he likes it. Look, look at him. He likes it. Say, say, what's up to the yeah, dude. On top of that, it definitely hit that leg and that share button. Let's get the freaking soul patch cat out there. That's crazy. <laughs> look, when you scratch it, he goes crazy, dude. Look. Ow! Like, watch when I scratch it, dude. Pay attention. I don't know. Look like he bit your arm. Yeah, yeah. Because I'm scratching the soul patch, dude. Look at <laughs> <laughs> Can't make this stuff up. Say what's up, Kiba. Look, he don't even want to say what's up. You know what, dude? There, every once in a while, there's a good cat out there, but I just can't, like... <laughs> My sister's I'll got one, cat, but dude. I don't know if I would ever find one, dude. Oh, dude. Look at him, dude. He looks like a, like a snow leopard, dude. He is pretty I'll, cool I'll, looking. I could, I could sick him on you. He'll he'll tear you up, Jay. Frank says there is not enough beer for that. What <laughs> 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 <a> soul patch cat. <laughs> He's going Rob, you should shave it into a little hard on his butt. <laughs> well, no, seriously. Like, dude, I was like frustrated and i'm like and he just kept like getting in the way making me like so i was like, i've got a patch on the back of his head because of it right so i gave him a patch look look what he did dude you're bleeding right now <laughs> yeah because i was scratching the soul patch dude he, he literally <laughs> broke skin he bit <laughs> you dude I told you he ain't no joke dude <laughs> that's okay. crazy oh, yeah. yeah look Bro, yeah, I would have freaking I beat. I would have beat the shit out of that cat if he did that yeah, to me. I can't do it, man. That's my boy. That's my boy. That's all right. Look, when I need him to attack, I scratch a uh, soul patch. Yeah, you're gonna need him to attack. He's gonna freaking go after your arm again. <laughs> nah, nah. If you stand in front of him, dude, not fact. <laughs> hey, what's nah, up, Zachary? Thanks for joining, bro. You just watched. You just missed Rob getting attacked by his cat. He is bleeding out of his arm. It happened live, and you missed that, it. That's the nice cat. There's another one that's mean. Oh, goodness. He, yeah, he's the nice one, dude. Yeah, that's my son's cat. My wife's cat? Nah. 
You don't even want to even even you don't mess with. Well, That's the don't cat. Mess. You don't corner that cat. Mm-mm. No, no, you will lose an eyeball. Look, bro, that cat is just chilling back there, waiting for you to get up from this podcast, and he is gonna maul the shit out of you. What, right there? Yeah. No, you, you no, you don't mess with her. It's a female. My wife got that cat about. A cat's probably I don't know what it would be in people years, but we probably had it like ten years. That's buttons and and that buttons. Yeah, and she's special. That's my wife's cat. Like you don't mess with buttons. Buttons is uh, she's the queen. Like buttons, my wife. Buttons will maul you to death. You you don't mess with buttons. Buttons is privileged. Buttons got more rights around here than I got. <laughs> <laughs> I get in trouble more than buttons do. <laughs> that's now nah, that, but seriously, that's my wife's cat. That's the young male. That's an older female. All right, let's not get. It's not a cat show, dude. It's I, it, I, it is definitely hilarious though. I, um, I, I, I like cats, dude. I'm a cat guy. Like I like cats. Always, my, my mom had cats the whole time growing, so I grew up around them and all that. So you know. Did you ever hear uh, anything back from Matt? No, I didn't. So I'm guessing he's probably. If I had to guess, I'm sure he's busy in the shop, dude. He's probably in the shop. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Definitely busy in the shop. But uh, uh, you know what, Frank? Frank brought up a great question, one that I was definitely going to ask. Um, And this is Frank's question. I'm not taking the question for the. I'm not taking the uh, credit for this question. This is Frank's question. What is your guys' choice for the Bassmaster Classic? Who's going to win? Definitely post your comments on that. What's your thoughts, Rob? You don't want to know my thoughts on it. Uh, one yeah, of dude. the rookies. Yeah. One of the rookies live scooping with a small little minnow. Maybe uh, Trey McKinney. Maybe Milliken. I wouldn't be surprised if Milliken wins it, dude. Everything is one live scooping now, dude. So, yeah. yeah it's, it is what it is. It's funny if you watch Chris Aldane video. Where he's looking at everybody's boats. A lot of those guys, Zach comments where it's like, I don't want to have to have all this, but I have to have it to compete now. So I think I'll get one live scope. And of course, everything's been one live scope. And now, where and do I you think find we'll all be... the anglers for them. I'm trying to find the angler lineup for all of, you know, I would love to see like somebody like Bill Lowen. I don't even know if Bill's in it this year. If he made the classic, I know Matt Heron told us he'd, where do you see the classic. lineup for who made the classic? That's what I'm trying to find right now. Oh, I'm not quite on, sure. Bassmasters, Bass 24, Bass, Bass Pro Shops, Bassmaster Classic, presented by Scott Jockeys Martin Outdoors. This year. Um, shoot. Uh, I would like to see one of the... Dude, it's going to get won by one of the rookies. What's his name? Fajita? Fajita? Um, or, um, Trey McKinney. Oh, what's that dude? I really like the one dude though. Um, the, the rookie, uh, Tyler, uh, the anybody, one that, anybody that's sufficient at forward facing sonar has a shot at it. Dude, that's, that's one of the rookies now. We got, that, we uh, got big stuff up in here. So we got a lot of people saying Christy, you have to lean towards Christy and Milligan. Um, I could see Milliken winning. Zachary it. says, um, Kenta, Milliken, and Patrick. Yeah, Kenta. Yeah, Kenta. Tyler, yeah, Tyler Hawthorne says, Christy, that's, what's up, that's Tyler? The guy. Jason Tyler Christy. Hawthorne. Is it Tyler Hawthorne, the jig guy? If, if whoever said Tyler Hawthorne, is he Tyler the jig Hawthorne guy? is our UMA Lures crankbait sponsor. No, I'm sorry. Man, what the hell is the guy's name? <laughs> I know, Ty- yeah, I know. I'm sorry, but ah, Tyler, you're on the major league. You're on the major league fishing series. You're on the elite series. I, I, I got Tyler winning that, but no, what the hell was that? I'd put Tyler I'm winning that too. Thing. Yeah, well, Tyler, Tyler Hawthorne's name just rang a bell. Oh, look, I like Rob. Bell. I like Rob Steiner's idea. He says, "What's up, fellas? We should do a a classic pool, twenty dollar entry, five anglers, and the final weight for a tiebreaker." Uh, Zachary says Tyler Williams. We have Frank says Tyler Tyler Rivet. See, everybody's named Tyler, dude. So don't blame me. No. <laughs> Tyler Tyler Hawthorne says yes. A Bass Bassmaster Classic qualifier, Tyler Hawthorne. There you go, Tyler. I hope you win, dude. <laughs> no, uh, dude. Ahead. It's actually t- Phil Givens says it's on DraftKings. Really? 
That's wild. Yo, DraftKings sucks. Fuck DraftKings. Yeah, why are you trying fuck, to tap into that the shit? Bassmaster Classic is on DraftKings. Oh, uh, he says just kidding. Oh, oh. I wouldn't be surprised, though. That's what I'm trying to say. Like, I just would not be surprised. Yeah, how is that guy kid's name? It's killing me, dude. The it's kid. Uh, I gotta look it up now, dude. The, the, the kid, I think his name is Tyler. Always throws a jig, dude. And finesse fishing is throwing it's a Tyler jig. It's Tyler Williams. Is that, his, is that his name? Yeah. Tyler Williams always throws a jig. No, I don't think that's who, what his name was. I don't know. It's Tyler Hawthorne, dude. I'm still going with it's that. It's Tyler stick Hawthorne. With, stick with my original answer, dude. <laughs> Everybody oh. that's watching right now, Tyler Williams is definitely a dude that just never puts a jig down, right? Am I wrong? I... Yeah. Zach says, Zach says Tyler Williams is a jig guy. That's He's a... the barefoot bandit. Yeah, that's the guy I'm talking about. Okay, yeah, Tyler yeah. Williams. And Rob yeah. says, don't sleep on Brandon Polinick either. Yeah, yeah. Polinick, yeah, I, I would like to see somebody like Polinick or um, like Zaldane or like one of the guys that's been in the elites for a while win it. But I got a feeling it's going to be like one of those rookies like Tyler I Williams. Do. I, or, I agree with or, you on that. Trey McKinney or uh, Ben Milliken or somebody like that. I just, Shit, this I just is feel on like a... what's going to happen. I could be very wrong. How dope would it be if Jason Christie won again? Shit, Hank Cherry. <laughs> Hank Cherry get a third win. No, you know what? Now think of Rick Clun. Rick Clun. It would make Kevin. It would make KVD have to come back because now Rick Clun would hold the title for the most classic wins ever. Might make KVD come back try to win one. How many classic wins does Rick Clun have? Four. And so does KVD. They're both tied at four. Really? Yeah. Four classic wins, dude. Rick Clun won back to back. And four. so we're at the uh, Grand O' Lakes? Cher Cherokee, Cherokee, Grand O' Lakes? Yeah, I believe so. Dude, I haven't. Um... I haven't watched a tournament this year. I can't watch the live scope. Like Great that. Lake O'Cherokees in Tusla, Oklahoma. Yeah. It's from March 22nd to March 24th. The anglers from around the world will compete in the prestigious event with weigh-ins and festivities happening in Tusla. That, that's why. Oh, sorry, Chad. No, go ahead. Go ahead. So that's why we got uh, Keith O'Shea. We got an MLF pro on because it's fast class. It's fast man. Hey, so he is the very first MLF. MLF Keith pro. Carson's. Keith Carson is the very first MLF pro to have to come on the show. It's all been Bassmaster guys. It there. has all been Bassmaster guys. Uh, Keith Carson's coming on this Friday, guys. Definitely marked on your calendars. We have Keith Carson's joining us this Friday. Hanging out, asking questions, whatever you guys want to nitpick. He is from uh, MLF, which is yeah. our first guy from MLF. It'll be interesting yeah. getting some insight from somebody that's fishing a different series. And he fished the NPLFL before, and he fished the Classic before, too. So, Oh, I yeah. like this. I like this. Frank said it's kind of falling into Hank Cherry's wheelhouse. And boy, would I love to see Hank Cherry win another Classic, brother. Who who may or may not uh, who may or may not be coming <laughs> on Bass and Beer Radio here in a little said while. Enough, dude. Said enough. Hold up. Did you guys just hear that? Let me mute my said, mic said for enough. a second. Cut it off, dude. Cut it off. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. Did I say Hank Cherry? <laughs> yeah, Hank Cherry. Maybe. Maybe not. We're still talking. Putting it in the works. Don't sleep on it. Yeah. I like to get Fritz back on the show. I got to hit him up, dude. Oh, David Fritz was one of my favorite interviews of all time so far, dude. Yeah. I got like, I, I don't even, I still haven't figured out what the hell I'm doing <coughs> with the crankbait yet this year because I feel like everything I'm doing is wrong. Dude, he gave up so much juice. Don't use that. Uh, any, uh, the, use a reel that can go in reverse instead of, you know, the ones like we have now to stop, crank or breed. Like, it was a lot of. Yeah, he would. 
Dude, he actually said, like, I dare any of y'all to even just try this and get a reel that doesn't have the any reverse or whatever it's called. And uh, It's hard and, to and, find and, that shit, man. It's not. You got to go on eBay and just, like, find a specific reel for that. Dude, he straight said, like, if you don't believe me, go ahead and try it. You know, like he he was like, call my bluff, like basically, you know what I mean? And was like, you, dude, it's the greatest crank baker, uh, crank baiter ever. And that's what he says. So how can you deny it, already crank? I, I denied nothing. I wrote everything down and absolutely followed everything to the T that he said, minus my real being an anti-lock real. Right, anti lock. Yeah. Uh, uh, mine mine either, but uh I mean shit, dude. David Fritz might he knows a little bit about crankbaiting. To say the least. Frank says he would love to see Ben Milligan come on the show. Uh I'm not gonna get in. I have talked to Ben. It's uh, You have talked to Ben. Of course, but uh, it's another story, dude. He does seminars. No, he's a good dude. Like, don't get me wrong. The problem is that some of those guys are so... This time of year is the hardest time to get somebody on the show because of... They're all... They're all like, Ben, it's his first year in the elites. You know what I'm saying? He's got... He's focused on the elites. <laughs> like he should be. You know what I mean? So... He did do Bass University. It was kind of cool. Did you watch that seminar? I did watch some of it, yeah. The live scoping one? Yeah. Mm, I'll tell you what was a really, 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 really good watch with Steve Kennedy on um, Chris Aldane's, on the, uh, what's Chris Aldane call his podcast? The Bilge? The, the Swim Yeah, the Bilge, one? yep. Oh, dude, that was, That was man. a good episode for sure. I said like two or three times, dude. It was uh that was a very, very good watch. Not Phil says about... Phil says he's down to come on again and talk on some self filming tips. Yeah, come on, Phil. We come definitely on. gotta get Phil back on here again, man. I loved having Phil on the show. Phil uh, Phil's rubbing rubbing elbows with all the uh with all the big names. You think I talk to a lot of He's big up names. in Phil, there, dude. He's Phil's up in off. there, man. Yeah, Phil, get Phil, Phil on superstar. here. Get Phil on here, hang out. Hell yeah. Uh, dude. Well, it's weird uh, this time of year because, dude, if you're going to, if you're going to, um, those guys go from tournament to tournament to tournament and they're 100% focused on the next tournament like they should be. And then it's like Ben Milliken's first year. So he's not going, you probably won't. If he wins, you'll see him on everything, of course. But uh, he's just he's grinding it out. Like he's he got should. a chance. I personally, I think he's got a chance. He's not uh, a bad. I like Jason all. Christie a lot myself, to be honest with yeah. you. That would be awesome. Um, and speaking of which, did you guys hear about the Spro JC Elite, the Pro Series reel that they are coming out with in the Bassmaster Classic? Yeah, I heard it on Bass and Bear today. I saw the post. It is the first Spro reel that they are releasing to the market. It'll be released on the Bassmaster Classic. Uh, I am personally a Spro fan. I think the Spro KGB rods have done a fantastic job. A lot of the Spro, I'm saying too much, a lot of the Spro crankbaits that I like to throw are really good crankbaits. There's a lot of Spro baits that I like. Uh, even, even Spro line is pretty decent. Um, so I don't know what the price is going to be. I don't know what ratios or anything it's going to be. Um, but I've been impressed by what Spro has been doing on the market so far, and I'm definitely interested to check it out and see what else they have to offer. No doubt. What's Spro got? They got the Rock Crawler, the Little John, right? Hey, what's up, Brian Dyson? Oh, uh, shit. Brian's in the house. Yeah, yeah they we got... can't say nothing. <laughs> Rock Crawler, the Little John. Right. Uh, they got the Outsider. I don't know about the outsider. So Definitely. the outsider is a new crankbait where the weight is actually on the outside of the bait instead of the inside. What? Yes, sir. Is that designed by uh by John Cruz as well or no? Uh 
I I personally cannot remember. Hang on, we can do something real quick. Here, the though. Outsider. I'm not familiar with that one. But uh, the rock crawler. I mean, the rock crawler is a rock crawler. It is like you know, don't waste your money buying a wiggle wart. Just get a rock crawler. The fuck is this shit? That's the best thing I could tell you. You're gonna spend a hundred and some dollars for a wiggle wart. You can just go buy a rock crawler. Mm-hmm. It, it's gonna be. I think I got some right here somewhere. Hmm. I gotta get. I got so many crankbait boxes, dude, but it's probably not hard to find. So they have the Spro Outsider Crank, the uh, deep diving 80 crankbait. Spro Outsider Medium Retrieve, 60 crankbait, and the Spro Outsider Shallow Retrieve, 55. Mm. And I don't know. Can you can you go on Tackle Warehouse and see this? I'll pull it over here to the side. I don't know if you can see this or not. But, uh... These are the uh, on Tackle Warehouse. Those are your Spro Outsiders, your Deep Dive, your Medium Retrieve, and your Shallows. And you can see where that weight is kind of right here on the bottom on this Outsider. And uh, that gives this bait a different action than if you tuck it up inside the bait itself. Um, it creates a much more erratic action. Um, so it's a different bait. I really like a lot of Spro's colors. I like what they're doing. Uh, Spro's doing a good job. You look at this color of this rock crawler right here, dude. Put that away. What are you doing? Put that away. That's rock crawler. That's the one. Well, that's another rock crawler. And those are some of the best springtime colors out there. I'm just going to oh, say yeah. it out loud. I call that one. It's not what the actual color is, but that is unripe tomato. I can go with that. I don't remember the color. I'm telling you the best color I come across we don't really hide time, anything here on Bass and Beer Radio. It just is what it is. For springtime, Rapallo makes a color hot mustard. It's basically chartreuse with a brown back in the springtime. Frank, I can agree with that. I would love to see Greg Hackney win one. Yo, yeah, that would be dope. Yeah, that would be awesome. Greg Hackney would be really yeah. great to see win one. I just, Flipping. I mean, unfortunately, Flipping look, I'm just going to say it because we all... We're all thinking oh, it, but like, dude, he's got to get way more caught up on forward face and sonar. I just don't think it's going to no, be won unless you can do like that. Forward face and sonar is that's it. You're not winning unless you're dialed like in that. on forward face and sonar. What is that? That's, that's a DT six, but that color right there. Actually, hold on a second. I, I, I think I showed it before on the show before. Uh, no, I don't think that's... It's close. This ain't the exact color I'm looking for in this box, but uh, the, it's similar to that. The bleeding all over Shiner. Oh, that might... Yeah, here it is. Here's the color I'm looking for. This ain't the DT6, but... The bleeding all over Shiner. That color. Uh, do you throw any duo lures? Who, me? Yes, yeah, sir. No, uh, not that I got anything against them. I just don't, just don't have no experience with them. Yeah, uh, I personally don't either, uh, Charles. I don't have any uh, input on the duo lures. I really have never thrown any of it. I mean, I don't think they're bad lures or have. Yeah, thing. Brian says put that shit away. It's garbage. <laughs> <laughs> Brian don't want me showing that. Dude, I, I don't have nothing against the duos, but I just I just don't have any so I had dumb my tag I'm like a, a stuck in my waist type guy. You know what I mean? Like I I have what I have. I throw what I throw and uh I mean once in a while I might pick up some something different, try something different, but normally after so many years I have dumbed it down to what I have confidence in and what I, what I like to use. Um, that's the whole thing that people don't understand is you find a bait you like and you start catching fish on it. It doesn't really matter what bait it is. You start catching fish on it, you get confidence in it. Next thing you know, it becomes your confidence bait and you catch more and more and more and more fish on it and you get more and more confidence. But the reason that it becomes your confidence bait is because you throw it way more than you throw anything else. So I'll start crankbaiting and throw a DT6. I'll start catching more DT, 
DT DT six. So I'm throwing DT six all the time, get more and more confidence on it. And now I'm like, I don't need nothing but the DT six. Not that anything else wouldn't work just as well. I just have so much confidence in it. Hey, what's up? We got outdoors in Maryland up in the comments. It, it, this if is that a- makes any, any sense. Yeah, I hear you. I um, definitely, I hear you. Uh, we got uh, outdoors in Maryland up in the comments. I've never seen outdoors in Maryland in the show before. Welcome to the show, guy, uh, guys, girls, up, whoever you are. Thanks for joining us. Let me see what else we got, dude. What else you want to look at? I, I mean, like, bro, you got is- like a whole like science. Like, look at all the deep boxes that are above that, <laughs> dude. If you don't want to see what's in them, if I uh, <clears throat> like, when I get a confidence in a bait. Then I have confidence in a bait. So this is like trick worms. You see what I'm saying? I have a just. Although actually, I probably only throw two of these colors though. No, I, I lied. Oh, you know what? Outdoors in Maryland is uh, that's Sam. Are we going on their show? We're supposed to. That's what I thought. I have yeah, not. Yeah, for, I haven't cool. forgot hey, about it. I was watching. To, I was actually. I I was watching one of Sam's videos not that just a couple hours ago before we even went live. Uh, Haven't forgot about it. We've just been busy talking to other guys and stuff like that, and we're still working on getting time open. Like I said, we got Keith Carson's on Friday, and then after that, we potentially have Riley Cullett coming on. I have to talk to her. Dude, this is my beef with the video I made with the Plano boxes. Can you see? That is is bowed. That's bent to shit. Wait, that's yeah. the Plano? Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's the Plano Edge. And it's... They do that. Cast Kings makes a better latch, dude. Look, I can't latch this box. People don't believe me. Believe me. Trust me when I tell you, dude. The Plano's... It's worth it to go to the Cast Kings. They're, you get two for the price of one. Right. And they... Look, look at the last... Rob, can't hear you. <laughs> uh-uh. You can you can hear me now, right? Yeah, I can hear you. There it my, is. I keep when if I move too far, it unplugs my headset. But look, dude, and I'm not I'm not a cash king. I'm not sponsored by them or a supporter like that. But dude, look at this. Their latch system, it's just better, dude. Like. It, it's so much better than the plane. You don't have that box full of worms, though. No, I haven't even used these yet. You know what I mean? I, but just if you sit down and you look at just, if you compare the two, trust me, man. Trust me. This and I, and I know Cast Kings just knocking stuff off, and they're they're you know they're not a good company, and I'm not like advocating for them. It's just look at. Dude, look how many Plano Edge boxes I got. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's like, a lot. Yeah, so I'm just saying. Like, I don't know. Plano Edge has gave me a lot of, lot of problems. But uh, it's- hey, that being said, outdoors in Maryland, we're definitely interested in uh doing a show with you here in the upcoming future. I know we talked to you a little while ago, but we haven't forgot. We're just busy kind of doing some other stuff, and uh, we will definitely get to you for sure. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, dude, dude, I love talking to different people. I think one of my favorite things about this show is talking to different individuals and getting different insights from different perspectives in different parts of the area. Dude, I had a good time speaking to Tyler Hawthorne. I had a good time speaking to Hall- uh, Tyler at the uh, at the uh, flea market, at the uh, Middle River Bass Club flea Tyler's market. Tyler's one of the best dudes I, I finally, think I've ever finally met. finally got to uh, sit down and talk with him. Well, not sit down, but I finally got to uh, talk with him face-to-face. And uh, real, real good dude, man. Real good dude. Really nice crankbaits, dude. Um, oh, phenomenal! I'm pretty stingy with them. <laughs> yeah, I know. I told him <laughs> that. I was like, dude, Chad won't give me one. Like every time you give something to Chad, he won't give one. Is Tyler still on? I, I hope, hope so. he's still on. I hope he's still on. I hope you guys <laughs> listen to this, dude. Chad, if you don't Chad get won't a... give nobody a crankbait, dude. Like he ain't giving them up, dude. He ain't giving them up at all. Uh, so I, I don't know, dude. If you have not subscribed to the Riverboat Rob channel, please do. We up to uh, I'll shoot, I'm six thousand subscribers right now. 
Look, I'm just saying. Channel's growing pretty good, man. What the frick? What happened? You you cut us. We're not even live no more. No, we're live. Oh, okay. Some... Check it out in the uh, in the comments over there. UMALureCompany.com. Check out Tyler's page. Go out oh, there. Check out his crankbaits. Wish I could see comments, dude. It's like so. I'm not gonna. Listen, I think. 80% of the crankbaits that I've thrown since I started fishing in the for the four times I've been out so far this season has just been all on Tyler's baits. I'm throwing all balsa wood baits. I don't throw anything else at this point. If I have one of Tyler's in my in my box, that's what I'm throwing. I don't care about some of the Mega Bass flat sides or even some of the OSP flat sides that I have. Uh, or I have maybe one or two Berkeley Fritz sides. Don't tell anybody that. But uh, I really throw his balsa wood baits more than any of them. And I find them to be killer. So uh, UMALureco.com, go check them out. If you didn't pick one up at the Middle River Fishing Flea Market, his website is right there. And uh, it's worth every bit of $20 to get one of his baits, man. Like, no joke. Rob, did you uh did you did you pull your thingy out again? Cause I can't hear you. What? How about now? You hear me? There now? it is. What's up? I don't know. Every time I can't. I I need a longer cord or something. <laughs> Fritz, Fritz side. Is Tyler still on? Yeah, Tyler's still chilling. I got to get some of his crankbaits, dude. Chad will not. Chad is stingy as hell with him, dude. Yo, like, he says, send me your. Rob, message Tyler directly. He says, send okay. me your address. He says, yes. He says he's got you. Oh, thank you, Tyler. I appreciate it, man. Zachary says the divers that warp. Oh, the dividers that warp on the Plano are thicker on the cast king. The only thing I don't like is there's no metal pin in the hinges. Let's check it out. Hey, what's up, Scott? Thanks for joining us, man. Mr. Scott Swell. So, uh, Charles, oh, yeah. yeah, the link above is for UMA Lure Crankbaits right on their website. Um, I'm not sure if the promo code is there. You could type in Bass and Beer Radio. Tyler might help you out or something, but uh, definitely... That is the website for UMA Lure Crankbaits. Go on there. Hit that up. Yeah, dude. I think he's right. I think the hinges, he might be right. The it's all plastic. Might, yeah, it might be plastic. That's where they're saving the money at. Let's check out the divider. Yep, the dividers on here are definitely thicker. I could tell from, from there. It's definitely a thicker divider. Hey, we got Matt Downs up in here. What's up, brother? Oh, hey, Matt, Matt how dude. you doing, man? I tried to call you earlier, man, see if you could come on the show. We were going to do instead of a Tackle Talk Tuesday we was going to talk about how I caught my boat on fire and have you on here, but we got Matt with trick tens official John boats up in the house. Definitely stop on over to his page or to his YouTube, hit that subscribe button and check that out. Um, would definitely be a good one. Uh, would definitely be a good one for our John boat guys to check out. Um, he's got everything you need to know. Not only that, but if you hit Matt up, if you email him or you message him on Facebook, he he will help you out. Like, he's guided me through my journey because I'm not a boat builder. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I'm, I'm a maintenance guy that knows how to use tools. You know what I mean? Can you hear me, Chad? Oh, I can hear you, brother. Okay, because my headset be. But uh, Matt had gave me a lot of guidance. You know what I mean? And he, and very understanding, too. Like, he's like, dude, I get it. You know, like, look, do this or do that. And uh, and gave me a lot of guidance and help uh, along my journey, which is much appreciated, of course. Because I'm doing what this, I'm doing this rehab to my boat, and that's it. And you see no more boat build videos coming from me. Watch Matt. He, you can build it right if you watch his videos. So. Uh, Matt says he'll <laughs> hop on for a minute. Hey, hop on, Matt. Let I'll tell see. you what happened. I'll tell you what happened with the boat, dude. Let me see how I get some. Uh, I got a <coughs> invite thing here. I got to pee real quick. I'll be right back while you get mad on. Bathroom break.
I gotta figure this out. How do I make this go away? Oh God. Hang on a second. This is a disaster all of a sudden. All right. Hold up, Rob. I can't make the side menu go away. I'm trying to figure out how to get Matt to call in here. Share screen. Or... Can't, can't just call him? I'm trying to figure out how to send him a thing. Uh, we still got a bunch of viewers on, hopefully, because we got Matt coming on. Um, I wish I knew how to get rid of this thing. I I don't know. All I see is a weird picture of Paul Batters in the background, dude. This is shit that pisses me off with this stupid ass freaking. Shit on. Can I call him? On my. I don't, dude. I don't know how to add cool. somebody into this bitch right now. Captions, oh. translate, add participant. Yeah, add participant. That's what I was it, it do. don't. It don't let me. Uh, let me see. I can't. Why can't I get this fucking sidebar to go away? Go away. I got. It. He's not on my list. I got Mike Buka. That's all I got on here. Can I search? Oh, yeah, I can search him. All right, let me see. Hopefully, Matt. I can't even Matt. get this damn sidebar to go away now, which is pissing me off. Uh, Matthew down. I don't see... Oh my God. Yeah, too. Right, fuck this shit. Hang on, man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to call you back, dude. This were fucking retarded. Hello, hello. Rob. There we go. Yeah, that worked. Oh. My freaking camera again. Hey, give me a give me one second, Chad. I got to uh while wow, I'm at it. Change this damn battery anyway. Yeah, we gotta get rid of Skype, dude. This just shit is garbage. Yeah. Were you able to figure out how to get Matt no, or... I haven't figured out. Like, there's normally like a link you can grab, and I haven't figured out how to do that. Oh, look, this freaking bullshit is back. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how to use this shit, dude. <laughs> Like, Skype is the freaking dumbest shit I've ever seen in my life. This doesn't even fucking work. Do we have anybody? Are we live still? Yeah, we're still live. Oh, this is all going on live? This is this is behind the scenes, fast and beer. Hold on. I almost got mine. I had to change mine. Let me tell you one thing, dude. GoPro sucks. Because I, I had to change my battery. And this one's like feels like it's burning up. I could probably call Matt on it. Uh, I was in the middle of it, and my battery. Let me see what happens. I just I don't I don't know how to call him on here, dude. Yeah, it, 
unfortunately, he's not the only person named Matthew Downs. So it's like, and I can't make this freaking shit go away after I freaking open it, which is whack. Like I, I do not understand this shit. I got Matthew Downs. The fuck, bro? Just says United States. I don't know what Matt's. Which one's him? I can't tell. I want to. Nah. I'm. I'm gonna end up uh, calling the wrong Matthew Downs. Yeah, he says it's all good, no worries. Can Matt call us? It doesn't matter at this point. I'm not worried about it anymore. We'll do it another night. I can't figure it out right now. Dude, I actually needed to talk to him. I'm about to text him. (laughs) Go ahead and text him because I'm I'm getting fucking pissed off at this shit, dude. Technology's pissing me off right now. I have no idea why it is acting like this. It's ridiculous. Hey, Matt, I'm going to call you tomorrow, dude. Seriously. Uh... I had I, I got a couple ideas. A lot of progress on the boat today. It's coming along really nice now. Finally, had a couple setbacks, but worked it all out. Figured it all up. So, you know, it's coming along really, really nice. So, you know, start the framing tomorrow. I picked up a bunch of the uh, the angle uh, aluminum today. So I'm gonna get the framing tomorrow. And uh, a couple ideas I want to run past you. But anyways, as we were saying, and if we're not getting mad on, dude, like if you if you really want to like build a really good tin boat, he's the man. He's the man, and he's down to earth, and he's easy to talk to, and he will help you out. And uh, it, it, and if you're on a budget, he'll work with you. You know what I mean? Like just good good all around connection if you're uh, if you're trying to do something like that. So. Definitely worth checking him out. Between him and Anthony Jones. He's video, the best in the business, dude. Oh, he, look. look he's you, the best in the business. You can't do what Matt does at home. He could, he could, he could steer you in a direction where you can try <laughs> to do something decent that will, is good. But uh, if you want it done, like, right, right. You can't. Dude, he sent me the hatch. Like, I, I'm still amazed. Like, I'm still amazed at the work that he's done on it, dude. I don't know how you weld like that because you ever try welding, Chad? Uh, I can stick weld and I can MIG weld, but I cannot TIG weld. Can you weld like that? Did you see the video? No, I, I can't TIG weld. Him? I can't TIG weld. That's, I probably can't stick yeah, weld like Matt either. Yeah, it was. It's pretty impressive. Uh, very impressive. So, does really good work and a really good dude. So, I definitely recommend anybody checking him out. And I, I can't lie. I watched a lot of Anthony Jones videos too. It was like Matt is like super professional and uh, top quality, and Anthony Jones is like a DIY. So you kind of blend the two together. You can do it yourself. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like it's a little, little bit of but it's like watching Bill dance. And, God dang it, Adam! Thank you for telling me that. What, he told you how to do it now? He told me how to shut that screen on the side off on the comments. God, son of a bitch. Thank you, Adam. It took me all of that. Like, God. <laughs> Do we got kids on? Is this is this Bass and Beer After Dark or we got kids on? Oh, uh, I have no idea. Uh, reel it in. Reel it in, Rob. Nah, I ain't doing it, dude. Nah, I'm the I'm one that needs to reel it in, dude. Ass. That was frustrating. I was going to say Chad smokes a lot. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy, dude. Skype is wild. Probably wasn't even no screen on the side. Puff the magic dragon. Ha! <laughs> oh, man, dude. Dude, what is it? Tuesday? Tuesday. Damn, dude. Mm. I don't think I'm going to be on the water this weekend. I'm looking like the weekend after this one. Seriously. Yeah, take your time, dude. Just make sure you do it right the first time, you know. Well, while you got to rip the part, I, I'm not going all out like the extra mile, but while I got to depart and do everything I can, to, any improvements I can do or, you know, make it better. Uh, and then I keep it always. It, it one thing turns into another, into another, into another. So it's like now I'm doing the wiring, but then I'm like, man, the wires are ran through like the ten. Um, you know, from the past. So now I gotta like get grommets 
and pull all the wire and back out and put it through grommets because I'm worried about the tin's going to cut into the metal. Um, I have the same uh, problem that I had before, how the fire started, especially if I'm in rough water and it's banging against, like, the tin. So, you know, I'm thinking I might be able to get some kind of uh, maybe, like, a sheathing that I can, like, just cut and put around and, you know, stick it up in there, glue it up in there and not have to actually rewire it all so but everything just turns in one thing turns into another so the only way to really do it right is like how matt and them do oh and when you rip. said one when you said one week i was like mm. well he doesn't know what he's getting himself into if you want to do it like really correct and like because which you I, are I, I was getting at that point no i was getting to the point where it's like rip everything out like nothing in the boat and sand it all down and you know, but that that's like that's all summer. That's that's like maybe even longer than that. And you get in and, and, and a garage, you take it in there, like coat the bottom with that uh you know what I mean? I mean it depends on how far you want to take it. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, like if you watch some of Matt's videos, you will see like some boats he's like down to the skeleton and rebuild the whole thing up. But I mean, if you're trying to get back out there fishing, the problem is you're like, I'm just going to replace the deck. You rip the deck out, you find a bunch of other crap. So Ace, Ace Hardware has the rubber grommets for cheap to go around those holes that you that, are running your wiring what I, through. That's what I need. Thank you. And there's mm-hmm. the Ace Hardware right in Canton. Right by Ace Hardware. I yeah. I wonder if I could, like, so, like, instead of, like, pulling the wires back out, I could just cut them and put them in there. You know what I mean? I don't want to have to pull all the wires out. I think oh no chad didn't freeze that was just chad's normal no brian definitely hit him up he uh he he might be able to do something for you who brian dyson yeah he says he needs a custom bracket made to offset his front pedestal seat back about a foot oh yeah he definitely can do that dude so yeah, i'm sure he could probably do brian. something yeah yeah he, he'll hook brian up dude he could definitely oh, that's right brian's He's talented Brian's got the uh, the skeeter. Brian's big time now. Big time, Brian. We're gonna start calling you, dude. Yeah, the old skeet skeet. Yeah, he got the skeet. He got the. He got. He got uh, Kevin's boat now, dude. He's doing like freaking eighty miles an hour now. That's a good boat too, dude. It's a Ke- fast Kevin, boat. Kevin took. Kevin, like I told Brian, Kevin takes really good care of his stuff. You know, he don't yeah. need it up. And yeah. and and he takes really good care of it. So the boat's been very well taken care of. So you see Brian Dyson flying around down there now. <laughs> Brian, remember Brian had the tin boat, had like the old horn. I think it was Brian's boat. Correct me if I'm wrong, Brian. But it had the horn. It looked like it should have been on like a cabin cruiser. It was like this long horn. <laughs> like I was like, dude, is that the horn? <laughs> and it was like it looked like a bugle. <laughs> or a trumpet. <laughs> was that Brian? Did? Tell me if I'm wrong, Brian. I don't, I don't remember uh, exactly if it was you or not. But <clears throat> the boat horn look, was like mounted on the side, and it looked like a, a trumpet. Dude, it's the best way I could describe it. And it belonged on like a yacht or a cabin, like a like a first craft cabin cruiser. Dude. He says <laughs> that shit was legit. That was him. It was him. <laughs> I thought that was you, though. That was probably like five, six years ago. So <laughs> that shit was legit, dude. That shit was badass. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. Dude, you should have saw it. Brian, if you got a picture of that, dude, you got to pat, uh, post it on Bass and Beer tomorrow, dude. I'm oh, telling man. you. Brian, Brian Dyson's trumpet horn. <laughs> well, Ra- I think we've been live for about an hour and a half now. Yeah, I gotta eat some dinner, dude. Do eat some dinner. Welcome. I think ba- I think Bubbers. What are you doing, Bubbers? Come here. I think Bubbers is begging me to let him out to go to the bathroom. At least you didn't get attacked by no cat. Yeah, I mean you got attacked by a cat tonight. That's not happening to me. Dogs rule, cats drool. No. Did you see though this is a true story. Let me tell you something real quick. See there's an episode of Bassmasters with um Aaron Martins. Fishing? Yes, sir. And uh, like, there's like a Wednesday cat. to Friday, Dan. Sometime between Wednesday to Friday, the shirt should be done. So hopefully, 
before the end of the week. Yes, sir. Oh, oh, Dan waiting on the shirt. What's up, Dan? Hey, thanks for all the support, man. I know I owe you. Look, dude, I have it here. I just got to get it to you. I know. That's all. Not By this. the way, I just want to thank all of you that are still watching right now, dude. That was a, like, overwhelming amount of shirt orders that we got. People that matches us, dude, we ended up with, like, 81 shirt orders. That is insane. Love you guys. Thank you guys so much for uh, believing in us and supporting us. Hey, dude. So, oh, this is the stealth. Oh, you, you, that's the stealth. Rob, we need oh. to do an entire series on just what you just listed. <laughs> like what Dude, you, you just show, what you just showed, we need to do that. I got some boxes that you don't even want to uh, even see in, dude. Um, I forgot what I was saying, dude. What's new? What it is. But hey, man, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Thank you guys for joining us. Check out, uh, definitely watch Bass and Beer Radio for the updates on our Facebook page for that 1,000 follower giveaway. It is coming to you very soon. We have not forgot, and it is definitely a box that you absolutely do not want to miss. Friday. Yeah, and Friday, Keith Carson's will be on Bass and Beer Radio from MLF. What else about Keith Carson's, Rob? Tell us about Keith Carson's. Dude, shallow water fisherman, John Cox's best friend. They grew up together. He won co-angler on the red river he fished the mpfl made his way to major league fishing i think he just finished he had like a top 60 finish in the red crest um down the earth like hard-working dude like us used to be a painter and drywall guy yes sir you know what i mean like i can't wait to talk to him man and what i have been talking to him for the past week or so um you know getting the show ready and uh dude really cool dude to talk to really down to earth really nice guy and uh man i'm so looking forward to it man make sure Great. you uh, yeah make sure you guys turn into bass and b radio friday 8 p.m to hang out talk to john cox come with your questions no, no, ready keith carson i'm john sorry cox. john cox keith carson <laughs> god look dude let me say this chad while we're on line, while we're on air Every time a show has Keith Carson on it, they ha- John Cox and Keith it's Carson. not about John Cox. I don't even right. know why. I just we're did making that. this right. show about Keith Carson. It's about Keith. It's like Carson. Batman and Robin, and and you always have Bat. We're interviewing Robin. Look, Batman is Batman. We want to hear about Robin's story, if that makes any kind of sense. Oh, but, I, I'm, I'm with you, hundred percent. And Huckleberry Finn is that better? Nah, we're, man. It's. <laughs> I don't. I wouldn't even saying. put it at that rate. I think put them right next to each other for sure. Right. Oh, dude, dude, John Cox be the first one to tell you how badass Keith Carson is, dude. Mm. He's fished Bassmaster Classic. He just fished the Red Crest last week. Yep. Hell dude, yeah. I think I, if I remember correctly, and I don't want to, uh, I don't want to say any wrong stats, but it's something like two hundred thousand dollars in winnings. Um, MPFL. Uh, one Bassmaster opens. I mean, you name it, he's done it, dude. He's 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 done this struggle and been through it. He's sponsored by, I don't know, everybody. Berkeley's his main sponsor. I know that. Um, but he's a shallow water guy too. I'm not even sure if he uses uh, FFS. But we're gonna find out. I want to do a little research on it before I ask him, dude. Because you know John Cox won't put it on his boat. I don't think Keith will either. They're like brothers, dude. So. Yeah. Right on, everybody. Well, we will check you guys out. We will catch you guys Friday with Keith Carson's. It's just me and you Friday, I think. It's just me and Riverboat Rob. Maybe we'll hit up Greg. Maybe we'll hit up Scott. Maybe we'll have another guest on the show to hang out with Keith. We get uh, Brian Dyson on there. We could get Brian. Three is always the magic number in the studio. We do four when we have to, but three is that comfort number. So if any of you guys are interested in coming on the show and hanging out and talking to Keith Carson's, send us a message. Oh, Phil. Phil, come on, man. Phil, Brian, do know. it. Send us yeah. a message. We might pick you. Let's go. All right, hey, see you guys love later. Love y'all. Hey, peace, man. Peace.